All right, binomial times binomial. So as you can see, we have a binomial times a binomial. These two brackets cuddle together mean a multiplication, and we have two terms times two other terms, all right? I'm gonna show you two methods to do a binomial times binomial. Um, chances are you'll probably use my other method for the binomial times binomial, but the box method is very um, well used when we do trinomial times trinomial. So, by creating this box, uh, you know that you basically have this multiplied by this, meaning you need to separate your binomial into 3x and 2, and 4x and minus 1. Do not forget your minus 1, okay? Um, and then you go right ahead and you multiply every uh, monomial together. So 3x times 4x will give you 12x squared. And then we have the 3x times the minus 1, that's minus 3x. 2 times 4x is 8x and 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. You're not quite done. Your last part is to simplify your, um, your, uh, your, your polynomial. So we're going to take the 8x and the minus 3x, because those are the only two that you can simplify together. You have the x squares and the constant, which you can't simplify more than that. So we're left with 12x squared, and then 8x minus 3x gives you 5x, and you're minus 2. And then you're done for this example. That's using the box method. If you want to use the foiling method, basically you're doing the same thing without doing the box. So you just need to make sure that every, um, every monomial is multiplied with each monomial. So you're going to make sure that you multiply this 4x with these two and this minus 3 with these two. Starting with the 4x, 4x times 2x squared. So you're, you're starting with the 4 times 2, which is x, which is 8, sorry. And then you have x times x squared. So x times x squared actually gives you x to the power of 3, because there's a little 1 here. Okay, and if you remember your uh, laws from last year, when you have the same base and you're multiplying, you just add the exponent. So x times x squared is actually x to the power of 3. All right, then you have the 4x times the 5, which gives you 20x. Then, you're going to go with the minus 3 times the 2x, give you minus 6x to the power of 2, and minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. Don't forget your minuses, that can be an issue. If I look at my polynomial now, it is simplified at its simplest form. We have x squared, x's, x, we have x cubed, sorry, x and x squares, and constant, it cannot get any simpler than that, so you're done.